Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series. And in today's episode, we will learn about event binding. We will learn how to attach events from template to component. It's a, it's a type of one-way data binding and we will learn all about it today. We will do some hands-on examples and practical to help you master it. My name is Sridhar. I am here to share my knowledge with you on front-end technologies, on back-end technologies, also to learn from you all. During the course of this tutorial series, if you have any doubts, any queries, feel free to ask me. Feel free to drop them in the comment section. I will be happy to answer them. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in compiling these tutorials for you. So please support me by liking the video. Also, if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Thank you in advance. So far in the Angular 9 full tutorial series, we have covered around 1920 tutorials, right from basics of introduction to CLI, to modules, decorators, components, directives, ng, uh, directives which are ng, if, switch, for, style, class. We are continuing to learn on data binding. In the previous episodes, we learned about data binding, what's interpolation, what is property binding? How do we use attribute binding? In today's episode, we are focusing on event binding. If you have if you have missed out on the previous tutorials, don't worry, I have created a playlist for you. So please make sure you go through the playlist, ask me doubts if wherever you have, so that you master Angular. We are continuing on data binding series, which is what uh, one-way data binding is. So data binding is an means to, to bind the data from either template to controller or controller to template or both ways. As part of data binding, we have learned about interpolation, property binding, attribute binding. Now we will learn event binding. So unlike the previous ones, this happens from view to component. So remember, whenever we talk about interpolation, property binding, attribute binding, it goes from component to the template. That is one way. But with respect to event binding, it will go from template, from the view to the component class. We will learn about it now, how to use it, how to write the syntax. So if you have missed out on the previous tutorials, please do refer to interpolation, property binding, attribute binding. These are all types of one-way bindings from component to view. Now today we'll focus on event binding. So event binding is a technique that allows the user to bind the events from template to component. Remember that's the important piece. It's a one way direction, which means data flows only from view to component. We can attach any and all events that we want in our template. And these events are nothing but these are JavaScript events like click, on hover, key up, key down, submit, input, any and everything. So if you are used to using JavaScript events, these you can use it in Angular template. And how do we write it? So to do event binding, we will define the element and followed by the event that we want to use. There's a mistake here. I made attribute binding. It should be event binding. Uh, so let's see that in practical now and let's see how to use it. So I have my um, app component.html and I have my application. So let's put in a button, right? Simple button, we'll start with it and we'll define and say, click me, simple, nothing fancy. We'll see a button, let's do one thing. Let's just put a separator. event binding okay so now you see we have the learning event binding and we have a button simple now we are going to attach an event and the event i'm going to attach is click so here we will write write it in brackets function brackets right and this is the name of the event that you want to write in this case it is click if you want hover, if you want mouse over, you want input, you can all replace it with that. Click, then you will write equal to 
the name of the function right say uh, show alert right just giving an example of a method so here we are writing a element we are attaching an event and we are writing a method now we have to implement this method in our app component .ts. so let's add that show alert i'm just going to alert right So you have the method, it's just doing a simple alert. Right, now let's go back to application, click on it, we'll see the alert box, which means it's coming from the method. We are sending this, we are calling the method from the template, that's the HTML, and passing this value to the component. Now let's say you want to parameterize some value, let's say 10, right? And here, let's add it, right? Now, let's see this, click on it, I can see 10, which means I may I can pass value from template to the component. This technique is called as event binding. You're basically binding events that are used, right? So now let's say i'll give you one more example now we'll use one more example and in this case we'll use an input right uh, here i'm saying on focus right uh, change um, let's say again let's keep, keep it simple for now right let's say console log so i'm just trying to show you the variations of how events can be used so here i have an input which is what happened? Okay, we have not defined it. So let's go ahead, uh, define the method. Just do console log from the input focus event, right? So we have a input, we are calling a method, again event, which is now focus, and we are saying call console log. So it will call this method. Now let's open the inspector, go to console, clear everything. Now I click on it, it is now focus. So you see, from the input focus event, I'll show you again. Now I'm going to, I don't have anything, I click on it, it will again show the message because the event now that got fired was focus. Right, simple. So this is how we do event binding uh, in Angular. You can use any type of event on any and every element that you want to use. The events are JavaScript events. It includes click, focus, input, mouse over, mouse out, anything and everything that you want to change about it, right? So that's a one-way data binding because it's going from template to the component, right? Previously, when we saw interpolation, property binding, all are going from component to template. Event binding is from template to component. That's the important piece you have to understand. That being said, uh, I hope you understand now the concept of event binding and how to use it. Try it out. Let me know if you have any doubts. In the next tutorial, I'm going to talk about and teach you how to do two-way data binding. So two-way data binding means from, from the template to the component and from component to the template. It is two-way communication. We will learn about it in the next tutorial. Stay tuned for that. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. Thank you so much.